What does the little heart do? Oh, this is great. Oh, um, show me. This says love is in the air and it's, yeah, it flutters. It's a heartbeat. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? Lovely. I am a real fan of Automata whenever it was made, whether it was 18th century, 19th century, or in this case, 20th century. When I'm confronted with a table full <laughs> of automata made by a local hero, Paul Spooner, uh, it's a great moment for me. I mean, these are very much things that will be collected, not only now, which they are hugely, but in the future. He's a local man. Is he somebody that you know? Yes, he's a friend of the family's. Um, originally, um, there was a shop called Cabaret that sold automatas on the high street here. And my mother originally went there to buy these as presents to my father. So this was the first piece. But then they got to know Paul Spooner, and now he's a friend of the family. And he made this one for my parents' anniversary, wedding anniversary. What people love about Paul Spooner's work is this combination of elegance and simplicity that yes. he has, has come up with. And I think that he says that his automata are um, entertainments for people with short attention spans, <laughs> which I think is a, right. <laughs> which is a great way of describing it. Also, the <laughs> motifs are very interesting. I mean, this one, which is Olympia. Yes, Man is Olympia. Man is Olympia. What's, do you, is there a particular story to that? Yes, so the story behind it was that this was a European courtesan, and she was the um, courtesan to some Egyptian pharaoh. And she unfortunately got some sleeping disease and was very depressed. So her humble servant, Nubis, bought her a coffee substitute called Cab Coffee that was very popular after the Second World War. So he brought this to her to help her wake up. Uh, and she doesn't look as if she's awake. She's certainly she's really? doing she's, <laughs> she's certainly doing something there. Yeah, um, she, maybe she's got a touch of, of um, Cairo belly. When these pieces appear for sale, which they do very, very seldom, they command huge prices. Really? I mean, the Olympia, I would put it between two and a half and three and a half thousand pounds at, without any question. Uh, the heart, I would put it perhaps 300 pounds. So altogether, what's on the table, I would say 5,500 pounds. Won't be selling them yet, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little nest egg to have yes, up your yes, sleeve. Yes, exactly. <laughs>